Welcome to the... Wow. What? Hold on. Wow, I just completely lost my mind. Just, my mind went, uh, just, just went blank. Okay. Welcome to the latest weekly uh, news in the anime and manga world. That's not my usual intro, but it's a weird night. Let's just go with it. Uh, I'm going to talk about the latest anime news for the week ending September 25th, 2021, and we're just going to talk through the headlines. Um, there is a crossover anime series coming uh, that includes various franchises from the Key Visual Arts brand. It'll be called Kaganado, which is basically Key, etc. Um, it is going to involve characters from uh, uh, Canon, Air, Clannad, Little Busters, and Rewrite as chibi characters all interacting and having fun with each other. Um, sounds cute, sounds awesome. Uh, yes, Canon, Air, Clannad, Little Busters, Rewrite, and Planetarian all in there. Um, um, it should be noted that uh, June Maeda wrote the original visual novels for all but Rewrite, uh, and also worked on the music for all of them. Um, Kazuya Sakamoto of Tabihani will be directing it. Uh, the chief writer is Takashi Aoshima, who was the episode script writer for the Rewrite uh, anime. Uh, he'll be putting the scripts along with uh, Kai and Toya Okano. So that should be fun. Um, uh, will be, it'll be interesting to see how all of that comes together. Um, uh, announcement from, uh, uh, Crunchyroll and Plus Ultra, Fuji TV's anime programming block. Um, they partnered with Crunchyroll for, for new anime production projects, um, with a company called Slow Curve also participating, uh, for planning and promotion. Uh, there'll be an, a new original anime project by Goro Taniguchi of Code Geass, Planetess, and Back Arrow. Uh, it'll be called Estab Life. There's also going to be a new original uh, collaboration between Tutomo Nihei and Polygon Pictures, who adapted uh, Nihei's Blam and Knights of Sidonia. So, very interesting. Um, Crunchyroll's anime production thing has been... Mm -hmm. Um... Some pluses and minuses there, so we'll see where all of that uh, uh, comes out. But interesting seeing a cross collaboration between like a Japanese TV broadcaster and an American streaming company. We'll see where that comes out. Um, meanwhile, some uh, new anime announcements. Uh, My next life is a villainous. All routes lead to doom. We'll have a movie coming out. That was uh, revealed in a short animation, um, along with a piece of art featuring uh, the main character in a version of Edvard Munch's Scream, which is kind of funny. Um, uh, there's also an original illustration, um, manga style, uh, of that. So that's pretty fun. The final episode of its season two aired on Saturday. Um, also, the Reincarnated as a Sword light novel series is getting an anime TV series. Uh, this came with the 12th volume of the light novel. Um, uh, illustrations were drawn to celebrate, as you might expect. Uh, it is an Isekai series, but the main character is, is uh, uh, Isekai'd into a sword, a, a sentient sword. Uh, he remembers his past life, but not his name. Uh, he saves a young beast girl and um, uh, she becomes his wielder, wants to grow stronger. Well, he just wants to know why he's here. Um, so uh, there's a manga adaptation, and uh, yeah, so an anime coming at some point. The novels came out, started uh, in October 2015, so yeah, about six years ago. And the, um, uh, yeah, 12 volumes out so far, so Sounds like a, a very uh, kind of classic thing. Interesting to see an Isekai series where the main character is not present, where he's just the sword, and I'm sure he'll be talking through it. Um, you know, typically when we see an Isekai, the main character is like very present and like interacting with things. So seeing this side of things is pretty pretty interesting, pretty pretty different kind of approach to Isekai. So, yep, quiet news week to be honest. Um, oh, other thing, um, Netflix dropped the opening credit sequence to the upcoming live action Cowboy Bebop. 
um, series that it'll be releasing, and it is basically a remake of the original anime's opening credit sequence, complete with the song Tank. So go ahead and check that out. It is on YouTube. Um, interesting uh, kind of re rework of that using the live action actors. So yeah, again, kind of quiet news this week. That's all I got. Um, thank you all for watching. We will see you all next week.